You know, everyone always asks, what is Splatoon 2? But no one ever asks, why is Splatoon 2? <laughs> Why'd I make that the opening line? So I got my thinking cap on, and I'm bringing you a whole bunch of very real, very true Splatoon 2 facts. But I wanted more, so I reached out to the Twitter community to make this a beautiful, big brain video from me and from you guys. Will they make you better at the game? Eh, maybe? Let's go. As the title suggests, Splatoon 2 has at least two weapons. <laughs> Isn't that cool? In Merch's little briefcase, if you look at just the right angle, you can almost, actually you can, see a naked super sea snail just inside of it. Splatoon 2 partially shares a development team with Animal Crossing. You can even play Animal Crossing in Splatoon 2. <laughs> like, like, just watch. Inklings require friendship to be able to remove their footwear. Octoling tentacles are prehensile and capable of moving on their own like a real octopus. But inklings don't. Inklings get nothing. They flap around. They have no wiggle rights. Isn't that sad? Did you know that Splatoon 2 has two ways to play? Turf War? And Turf War with objectives. Running out of ink means that your ink tank is empty. Merch is just a baby spike. Splatoon 2 did the baby trend before it became a thing. <laughs> we like to... We like to imagine that it's not a thing. Krusty Sean's name is just a pun on crustacean. <laughs> Do you remember this one? Marina actually helped develop the flutters. You know, the worst thing to fight in the game. It's just one more reason to like Pearl. If you come face to face with the dynamo mid-swing, it's pretty much over. You better start praying. Alright, this is the one actually helpful tip in this whole thing. Did you know, if you collect three clams instead of four in an area where they spawn, the game actually will make sure it spawns new clams, like, somewhere else? I, like, I didn't know this before this, actually. The salmon run is available pretty often, but your favorite weapon won't be. I won't confirm or deny this one, seeing as I work for Ammo Knights, but, uh, Sheldon can probably actually make working replicas of the hero weapons, but he just doesn't do it. Contrary to popular belief, Pearl is not a gremlin. She actually is an inkling. Time is an illusion in Splatoon. Seeing as it's never night outside of Splatfest, where we see inklings and octolings partying all night long, the only conclusion is that inklings just never sleep. If you hold down the Y button, only your inkling or octoling head actually moves. Spike eats the flattest sandwiches ever seen by mankind. Seriously, <laughs> go look. Lil Judd, who controls the outcome of the Splatfest matches and ranked battles, considers all Inklings and Octolings to be food, not friends. They say, you're a squid now, you're a kid now, but never if you're both or neither, you know? Did you know that Inklings and Octolings weren't the only thing sanitized? The CQ species were also sanitized. The name Splatoon has all the letters in it to spell pool. Unfortunately, you can't swim in any pools that exist in the game. So sad. Hey, did you know if you jump in the water, you go poof? If you play enough Salmon Run, all you get is clothes. That means you'll never have to do your laundry. Outside of Splatoon, squids are, <laughs> in fact, real. The Splattershot Jr. is the first weapon you'll get in the game. However, the painting power that it has is not junior size. It will get you. It will paint over your base. Be afraid. Be very afraid. <laughs> There's just no way to say this one like this. I'm just gonna cross that out. Uh, did you know that Krusty Sean isn't a shrimp? He's actually a Japanese tiger prawn. Splatoon's world only exists because humans didn't survive the consequences of an apocalyptic war. Hooray! Dappling is the style of flicking paint, like, onto your canvas. And that's why the dapple doolies have those little teeny tiny toothbrushes at the end. You know, it's been almost three years, and we still don't know why jellyfish just reach out their arm really slowly into the street. You think we'll ever find out about that one? And one last one, let's just uh, scroll through these messages just a little, a little bit more. There is no Splatoon 3. Oh. Hey guys, did you know that if you're ever bored of playing the same weapon, you can go to Ammonites and get a different type of weapon to spice up your gameplay? Ask the further. Ask for only the best recommended weapon from the good old associate Vic of Beyond for more info.